This is Ramesh Badoni from Uttarakhand. I am physics teacher and working in education department of Uttarakhand since last uh, 14 years. Uh, I am using uh, ICT classroom teaching uh, since last 2012. Uh, why I am using ICT in uh, classroom teaching? Because I feel the traditional methodology of teaching uh, is not uh, creating that kind of environment or joyfulness in classroom. Uh, differently uh, in learning system uh, we need uh, the technology and the uh, basic uh, interest of the student towards learning by some other means why it is so because as uh, we know uh, in remote areas the student are deprived they are from uh, different kind of backgrounds we do have different uh, divides in the classroom as well so to meet all kind of uh, these uh, divides we need uh, technology uh, which remove this bar especially in learning uh, ICT help us uh, to minimize the divides because technology uh, is at par how it helps uh, the teachers student as well as the organization uh, because uh, using ICT tool uh, in the classroom uh, it create interest in a student it make them uh, to uh, think differently uh, I can say the problem solving in a student comes when we create different ideas uh, somewhere in the classroom the creating idea or getting idea from the student uh, for that point of view we start uh, thinking about uh, an environment where we can give maximum so actually we were using textbook so I had studies about the books we did survey on the books how much it is fruitful in classroom teaching so it was the result around 27 percent of the learning is only happening uh, using uh, the textbook or teachers those are teaching through the textbook or student those are learning from the textbook their learning is uh, uh, very very less compared to using technology in the classroom or we can say giving the exposure to the student uh, using different tools uh, like uh, exploring internet uh, using some different other resources uh, like experimental learning project based learning it help a student and for all these we need uh, some uh, different tools like uh, ICT we usually hear information communication technology where information means you have information in the form of book in the form of text in the form of media and the second thing is communication how can we deliver all these information to the student for that we need certain uh, means like uh, we need some communication tool or some other means like uh, we need some Wi-Fi we need some uh, internet connectivity at the area but in remote it is uh, very difficult to get for that uh, what we did uh, we uh, we created an uh, Wi-Fi zone a local area we had a ballooning satellite system we purchased it from Google uh, by uh, our own uh, efforts and then we started uh, integrating technology uh, with the student in our teaching learning processes in the classroom and after that we can say a uh, communication which happens uh, very rapidly in the student they started learning uh, better than the book uh, they were learning before or they were using some resources like that at the same time uh, we started thinking in that way how it can help uh, to explore the ideas of the student in a different ways how we can make a student responsible uh, how they can uh, behave like a, a cyber citizen how they can start uh, working uh, using uh, the technology in a different aspects for that uh, we had given a different kind of projects to them in the classroom like the time uh, for learning mathematics say, say uh, we have to teach uh, trigonometry mensuration uh, dimensional analysis in the classroom so they started thinking about uh, technology and their uses uh, with the uh, their project so we collected different resources we explored through the internet and then we use tangram origami even geogebra uh, like other tools uh, which uh, were really helpful uh, to them uh, to integrate uh, in their uh, project learning and at the same time we took them to the field trip field visit and we gathered information about the architecture the different monuments and the uh, forest or the different type of forest in the locality and then we uh, draw our design 
and lay out the program and then how we can integrate different information and for that using the, those information uh, we started gathering data and analyzing the data finally what we got we got the very much uh, remarkable change in the student behavior and their work culture even in the classroom environment uh, though there was a uh, very rare um, you can say uh, sharing happened in initial stage with the teachers because their competency was not like that in the technology but uh, as we started after uh, three four months they also started with us and helping us uh, in doing different projects so by the sharing of the work in different schools with a student exposure and we interacted with the different teachers and our student also participated in a different meet like in exhibitions in science expo so our school uh, definitely were different than others so what we found that uh, just using technology and classroom somewhere makes permanent learning in the student and they are very handy they have a capacity to solve the problem they think differently they solve the problem in different way and we we have seen the impact and result also the result word in that year was alarming uh, than other schools uh, we had the result in some subject was very high and somewhere we do we don't have that is because somewhere we physics and mathematics we were using technology so the student were uh, showing a different result than the other subject i mean different means we we are at uh, high level in the results than the other subjects so uh, by showing that project to the different uh, meet like uh, once I shown that uh, to the ICT uh, Mela uh, and in our different exhibitions like uh, we can say government of India is inviting the teachers who are using technology in the classroom so for that NCRT and the CIT invited us and uh, I showed uh, the work to them and that work was appreciated and at the national level uh, because of that my school and me uh, get national award for using uh, information communication technology and its tool in classroom after then the journey started we started thinking in different way because uh, this was a, a spark in me how we can use more and more uh, the technological aspects in the classroom because of that uh, uh, the result was uh, definitely showing uh, very very uh, uh, great things uh, especially in uh, uh, science sciences or mathematics or even in uh, social uh, sciences uh, we do have a very uh, remarkable things uh, coming up so uh, we started with the labs ict labs in the schools we started taking tools and we we started work on them so then we took our student in the field areas where uh, maximum uh, learning happened uh, when we uh, learn in the different institute how the tools can be used in classroom when I uh, came to the CIT or in NCRT, uh, there I contributed in other different things like in an ROER, uh, in MOOCs, uh, even in a e or uh, creating some uh, development work in ICT curriculum for the teacher and student. That given us a lot of learning and by learning all these things, I started again work in my uh, school and in a different, with the different student so uh, it again helped me uh, in work uh, and that that helped my student uh, again they started working on the complex things i know uh, i we can say uh, how emotional barriers is resolved by using some artificial intelligence we were using some uh, tools uh, in the classroom and my students were now handy to use all these tools they create their own resources and even uh, we are now creating uh, the uh, conceptual learning and the contents we are uh, creating and developing for the classrooms we shared that for the different schools even at the national level we shared all these uh, resources even in MOOCs the Swayam platform uh, we, I'm running around 64 courses of physics and that is uh, really uh, helping me as well as my student uh, to learn new thing every time as I'm learning I'm sharing with my student so they are better learner than me because they, the generation is much capable in 21st century and they are doing uh, really uh, in a different uh, differently in a better way than me
i hope using uh, this information communication technology in classroom uh, can help uh, better than the traditional or rote learning which is happening even today in a classroom so i hope uh, if we will start thinking in different way uh, we start thinking like uh, virtual learning is an our platform uh, even we do have artificial learning artificial data science we are using uh, for the different things in our school system so we have to prepare our student for that uh, if we will not do that uh, the you can say the schools or the kids who are really in remote areas and uh, in the all part of the india uh, they they will be lag behind so we don't want that we have to tell them and we have to take them into the mainstream uh, so that uh, they will feel uh, that they are uh, as they uh, are in the whole world so for that we have to uh, create an environment and i hope uh, our departments our government and even institutes uh, are now started thinking on that and our our teachers now start thinking uh, to replace their learning uh, what they ever have they must have that competency uh, even uh, uh, you can say today or uh, after uh, they they have to learn if they will not be capable to use all these things uh, they will be uh, too much uh, uh, outward absolute so how they will uh, use uh, they the learning in classroom for that they have to learn uh, these things uh, today so that they they will be at par with others and then they will be very much capable and very much appreciable for the joyful learning in among the students are uh, using information communication technology in classroom teaching uh, really helps uh, the student who are in a government schools since i am a government school teacher and it's my duty uh, to use all kind of information available uh, in our periphery so now these days we do have internet we do have uh, different tools different uh, devices so how we can use these devices in the classroom for that i uh, take an initiative especially for government schools where uh, we are very much absolute uh, using all these things so uh using all these things uh in a better way in different way uh government uh state government appreciated my efforts i did a lot of projects learning experiential learning especially conceptual learning uh, using these tools so that helped me uh, a lot and for that uh, i got selected for japan science sakura technology exchange program and i i went with uh, 62 student uh, from all part of the india we we did learning a lot of sharing of the culture and technology in a classroom uh, with a student we shared our work uh, with the japan student and with their teachers we learned from them as well and what the technology in their classrooms are they using that we shared in a government schools as a student and uh, i told you as uh, the government schools are lagging uh, behind uh, or using all these tools but now creating that environment putting the efforts uh, by my own i started giving uh, all these things to the my student and then this year again in 2019 i got the national award uh, for using uh, ict tools especially uh, now in the conceptual learning and classroom situation even i started uh, these kind of things uh, in uh making uh, some other projects like i do have my own teachers digital diary that oh, means uh, the teachers can do live streaming of their teaching they can share it in one time real time to the all teachers uh, even i started with some other project like say no to hunger uh, for 35 families in a remote areas we are just tracking these families through certain uh, means like using some gps system and uh, by using and tracing these families we are going to help them uh, by some other means so that uh, their kids can come to the school because they are fighting against the hunger so they they don't have that first interest for schooling for education their first interest is just to uh, first uh, just to uh, get free from hunger 
so that hunger will be uh, free uh, if we will start uh, collaborating with some other agencies they helped us and uh, we start giving some food some other kind of help to the families and then their kids started to come to the school and now uh, our students uh, are with these families so uh, that kind of inclusion we did by using these technologies and even in uh, most of the uh, parts we are getting appreciation uh, by these kind of uh, sincere effort especially for our society for weaker section or uh, like uh, some exclusion is somewhere is happening so we are able to uh, achieve in uh, some sort of uh, things but again uh, I wish uh, to my the student those are learning from me and from my society or from my teachers community uh, definitely they will achieve better uh, than what they were expecting in their future and at the same time I appeal from the teachers they should learn it they should start exploring tools uh, information tools and they should start uh, learning if they will start learning they will start uh, their work with the student and then the student will help them uh, in classroom they will get engaged they will enjoy and you can say in output uh, definitely you will have remarkable achievement level uh, for your student in future suppose uh, uh, you have to explain some technological function in classroom initially what teacher do they took a chalk and they start writing on the blackboard they uh, write some formula on the blackboard and then they start explaining but what it creates it creates uh, some chaos to the student uh, he thinks teacher is just writing and I'm just listening what is happening he don't know because even teacher is not knowing what exactly he want to explain for that what I did I took some uh, ICT tools and start explaining that the term sin x say cos x or the 10 x these are the functions how we can explain it graphically how we can uh, show the behavior of a uh, sign say suppose a particle is uh, doing true and fro motion and oscillating about the mean position so we can show that particle behavior along an axis and we can give some uh, animation some effect to it and then we start oscillating of that particle on the graphics and at the same time when the particle is oscillating uh, how it will graphically shown at the same time we can uh, we can show it the behavior of the harmonic motion by the particle we can show it by a circular motion means a sign is uh, nothing but a simple uh, transverse wave and that is a circular wave how we can represent it for that I used uh, uh, some tools like GeoGebra I use unity and we, we can use other tools as well just to explain a student how these function work the same way suppose we have to so the direction of a particle right so we are teaching force and we are showing the force is in the direction of the displacement then work done is happened but how we can uh, show to the student in blackboard it is not possible by making a steel diagram and giving some direction to the force and then we are showing the body is displaced but in real time the student is not able to combine all these ideas in one time so for that this 3d effect help a student and by seeing the videos by seeing these animation uh, he have that permanent learning and he realize what exactly these functions are what exactly the mathematics behind all these things so uh, using ICT tool uh, student are ready uh, to learn and even ready to uh, create things innovatively and uh, they are doing these, these kind of things will happen if we will start using technology in classroom especially the teachers those are involved in humanities they have to focus in Hindi in English even in social sciences using these tools they can make better communication in the student the student come forward then they will start uh, with them they will start questioning to them when they will start questioning it will help the problem uh, solving and that is skill will come up and then a student and teacher can uh, sit and together in an in a environment where they can have an interest towards uh, their hobbies have the interest towards their mission what they want to be in a future so definitely 
these tools are are or you can say uh, a kind of a unique methodology what's supposed to be given uh, in the classroom by the teachers and that will happen if our teacher will be uh, competent in using these tools then definitely the student will be at the same time i i would like to add one more thing here uh, at the point of uh, view of the teachers those are feeling they are absolute no it is not I started learning about these tools at the age of uh, 35 means in any age you can learn in any age uh, you can have that spark if you have the interest and for that interest you have, have the purpose if you have a purpose then you can chase it if you don't have a purpose if you are thinking I'm a government uh, teacher I have the thing what should I have I have that eligibility what uh, should I have then it will not help you you should think differently you should think you are educating the generation which is going to face in 21st century or later in future that global education universal education is a challenge for them so it is not for you it is for the children those are behind you so you think about the student you think about your kid uh, what actually new or advanced you can give to them that is only uh, you have to be perfect you have to be competent and you have to first face the challenges if you will meet to these challenges definitely your student will learn faster than uh, other thing other uh, uh, other things you can say uh, they will come up then so many things so i hope uh, it will be uh, beneficial for the student if they will integrate the technology along with the teacher in classroom learning processes thank you